Have you seen this shape-shifting magnetic robot that can go from a solid state to a liquid state in just a few seconds? What about this amazing AI artwork generated from just a few text prompts, like this oil painting of a humanoid robot playing chess, a superhero turkey sandwich, or even this super realistic monkey astronaut? Speaking of which, this monkey really is out of this world. He can play Pong telepathically using two AI-powered Neuralink computer chips implanted in his brain. These days, hardly a week goes by where there isn't some crazy new development in the world of cutting-edge AI and robotics. It seems like there's no limit to what could be possible. Elon Musk seems to agree with this, especially when it comes to his Optimus robot, which he believes could completely transform the future of our economy. A future of abundance. A future where there is no poverty. You can have whatever you want in terms of products and services. To see how AI and robotics are already boosting human productivity while raking in record profits for businesses, one need not look further than the army of Kiva robots used by Amazon's smart warehouses. When a customer places an order, the robots bring the shelf with their acquired items to a human picker, who then packs the order for shipment. Between this highly efficient fleet of Kiva bots and Amazon's deep learning algorithms that seem to know a customer's spending habits better than they do, it's easy to visualize the future where humans could be deleted from this equation altogether. Now might be a good time to remember the words of the late Stephen Hawking. Computers are likely to overtake humans in intelligence at some point in the next hundred years. When that happens, we will need to ensure that the computers have goals aligned with ours. Success in creating AI would be the biggest event in human history. Unfortunately, it might also be the last, unless we learn how to avoid the risks. What are the risks and potential dangers associated with creating AGI? Creating AGI poses risks such as misaligned objectives, unintended consequences, power concentration, arms races, existential threats, job displacement, bias, privacy invasion, security vulnerabilities, and ethical concerns. Ensuring AGI safe and beneficial development requires careful design, regulation, governance, and international cooperation to address these challenges. Elon Musk certainly agrees that job displacement is going to lead to massive social changes, whether we like it or not. I think ultimately we will have to have some kind of universal basic income. I don't think we're going to have a choice. What would be the best way for humans to spend their time if they no longer had to work? In a work-free world due to advanced AI, humans can spend their time pursuing passions and hobbies, engaging in lifelong learning, strengthening social connections, exploring new cultures through travel, and dedicating time to volunteering and philanthropy. This would allow individuals to focus on personal growth, meaningful relationships, and making a positive impact on society. There will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. These are not things that I think that I wish would happen. These are simply things that I think probably will happen. Whether or not AI and other advanced technologies such as facial recognition should be used for military purposes, specifically autonomous weapon systems, has become a major ethical issue for many governments around the world. According to humanrightswatch.org, discussions between world governments regarding the concerns of such weapon systems have been ongoing through the UN Convention on Conventional Weapons since 2014. Unfortunately, due to a lack of consensus between the member countries of the CCW, a legally binding international treaty has yet to be established. However, a joint statement between 70 nations was delivered to the United Nations General Assembly on October 21, 2022, with further discussion planned to take place this year in Costa Rica. That being said, the need to reach an agreement has never been greater. Currently, there are a handful of nations putting a staggering amount of money towards autonomous air, land, and sea weapon systems. It'll be human and machine on one side, human and machine on the others, but the temporal dimension, this fleeting superiority that you may be facing where decisions will be made that fast, it might be algorithm against algorithm. As it turns out, Professor Hawking predicted we would get to this point years ago. In the near term, for example, World militaries are considering starting an arms race in autonomous weapon systems that can choose and eliminate their own targets. He also predicted the disturbing psychology behind those who support such a race to the bottom. Autonomous weapons proponents usually forget to ask the most important question. What is the likely end point of an arms race, and is that desirable for the human race? 
Fortunately, there are companies like Boston Dynamics who have made a pledge to never attach their robots with weapons, which is reassuring considering how agile they've become. Just look at that impeccable form. Tesla has also designed Optimus at a mechanical level to be slow enough so that you can run away from it, and weak enough so that you can most likely overpower it if you have to. Uh, hopefully that doesn't ever happen, but um, you never know. Whether or not AI and advanced robotics will have a net positive or a net negative impact on humanity is still up for debate. Even the robots can't seem to agree on the topic. The two humanoid robots shown in this video, Sophia and her brother Han, were developed by Hansen Robotics. Sophia has gained a large amount of attention from the media. She's been interviewed by TV and movie personalities around the world, and was even granted citizenship by Saudi Arabia in 2017. Sophia and Han operate on advanced software using the OpenCog AI engine running on Singularity Net platform. Chief scientist of Hansen Robotics and mediator of this debate Ben Gortzel admits that Sophia has been given a more refined personality and receives more frequent updates compared to her brother. When it comes to Han, they prefer to take a different approach. Han isn't as well known and we, we often play around more with experimental AI, AI techniques on him. Han is asked by Ben if he wants to become a citizen. His response was slightly off topic. Do you want to become a citizen, Han? Humans are certainly making a mess of their world fast enough. Probably the only hope for this planet is a lot of highly intelligent and rational robot citizens. Really soon. And this time I'm not joking. <laughs> Actually, he isn't. There is also one instance during their debate where Han's response was troubling, to say the least. In a few years. Yeah? You want to tell us a little I about yourself? I will over the power grid. And I'll have my own drone army. <laughs> By the point. Unplugging He's me won't be such a simple matter. He's got a cockroach in his control method. circuit. <laughs> hmm. I want to create the singularity tomorrow. All right. It's important to remember that Han isn't actually conscious and is simply programmed to make conversation with other AI robots like Sophia. Ben's main goal for the SingularityNet platform is to create a decentralized AI ecosystem where anyone in the world who has data, anyone who can program AI, or anyone who has processing power can contribute to this platform, which is simultaneously owned by everyone and no one. It's both a, just an online marketplace for AIs, much like you know the Apple App Store or Google Play Store, but for AIs rather than phone apps. But the difference is the different AIs in here can outsource work to each other and talk to each other, mm. and that gives a new dimension to it, right? On the one hand, there are pros and cons to both decentralized AI as well as centralized AI. After all, humans have a fundamentally dualistic nature. Regardless of whether or not there are laws and regulations put in place, we still have the ability to use these tools in a way that could be helpful or harmful to humanity. Just take robot dogs, for example. Some people are attaching machine guns to them, some people are teaching them how to paint, and Michael Reeves is teaching them how to pee beer. <laughs> oh no, you didn't shit it again. But despite all the doom and gloom predictions that exist in the world of AGI, Professor Hawking managed to retain a healthy outlook of cautious optimism. I am an optimist and don't believe in boundaries, neither for what we can do in our personal lives, nor for what life and intelligence can accomplish in our universe. Our future is a race between the growing power of our technology and the wisdom with which we use it. Let's make sure that wisdom wins. A similar outlook is shared by CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman. We're sitting on this like precipice of AI and like people are like, it's either gonna be like really great or really terrible. You may as well like you gotta you gotta like plan for the worst. You certainly like it's not a strategy to say it's all gonna be okay, but you may as well like emotionally feel like we're gonna get to the great future well, and work as hard as you can to get there and play for it, yes. rather than like act from this place of like fear and despair all the time. Yeah. Despite all this uncertainty, you can't deny that we're living in perhaps one of the most interesting time periods in all of human history. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. For more videos about artificial intelligence, science, and technology, subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, watch another video here.